coming up on Retiring Well. Thanks to the new tax code, you have a great opportunity to get that loan paid off at a big discount. But they're sitting on that IRA account where they know they have a partner. If I know that I've got you know, $200,000 to work with and I can effectively lower that tax rate or buy out Uncle Sam at an eight or 9% decrease, wouldn't I wanna do that? And that's a main vehicle for people to tuck money aside while they're working to build up their retirement assets. But unfortunately, it feels like they're not really thinking through, what does that look like down the road? Retiring well, helping you make smart decisions with your money so you can live a better life. Today is the day you can take back control of your money. Retiring well, where we believe your best is yet to come. Welcome to Retiring Well. I'm your host, Michael Reese. We've got a terrific show lined up for you this week. We're asking the question, are you, are you as debt free or as at least close to debt free as you think you are? Now that's kind of an interesting question, isn't it? You know, whenever we talk to folks, probably folks just like you, they're retired, they're nearing retirement. You know, uh, one of the common goals that we hear uh, from people just like you is that, hey, you want to be debt free during retirement, or at least as close to debt free as you can be. And quite frankly, uh, that's a good thing. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having all your debts paid off. Uh, if you enter retirement with no debts, it's a very, it's, it's, a f it's very freeing. It's a, it's a great position to be in. Or maybe if you enter retirement with, you know, maybe you've got a home loan and that's all that's left, or maybe a car loan. I mean, again, great place to be. But the question is, are you considering everything or is there something out there, maybe something big that you're forgetting about? Well, if you're like most people, there is something pretty big out there you're forgetting about. It's called your IRA, your 401k, your 403b, your 457, your qualified retirement plans. Your qualified retirement plans have a big chunk of debt on them and it's called tax. Now let's think about this together. Remember when you put money into say your 401k? Remember that? And what would happen is you put that money in and you wouldn't pay any tax. In fact, not only did you not pay tax on the money that went in, you got a tax deduction. So when you put money into that thing, you got a tax break. Well, really, if you think about it, it was kind of like the IRS said, all right, I'm gonna loan you a little bit of money. I'm gonna loan you a little bit of money today. Each year that account would grow. You wouldn't have to pay that loan back. It was tax deferred. The IRS said to you, ah, don't worry about it, you don't have to pay that loan back. Yet, not yet, but you will have to pay it back later on. Now, the IRS, they even go a little further, they say, hey, we're not even gonna let you start paying back the loan until you're 59 and a half, <laughs> right? If you do, you're gonna to have to pay prepayment penalties called a 10% tax. On the other hand though, they say, gosh, by the time you're 70 and a half, you gotta start paying us back. And if you don't, that's called, you know, you get another penalty. That's like a 50% penalty, don't do that. But the point is, it's like this big loan. They loaned you a little bit, they let it grow. Now that you're retired, they wanna collect. What we're gonna talk about is, thanks to the new tax code, you have a great opportunity to get that loan paid off at a big discount. Now is the time to take advantage of this stuff. So don't go anywhere. We're gonna talk about this on the show. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm sitting here with Larry Flynn. Thanks for being here, Larry. Mike. He's one of the advisors at Centennial Wealth Advisory. And, and folks, uh, as you may know by now, we certainly invite you to come visit with us. It's absolutely free to get a second opinion on your retirement planning. And I think it's important to get a second opinion from someone who's a specialist when it comes to retirement planning. And Larry, I'm sure they're wondering, you know, if they pick up the phone and they call and come visit with you, 
What kind of a, what can they expect? What's that experience like? Well, Mike, they can expect not to get hard sold, okay? We're gonna greet them warmly. Um, we're gonna sit down and talk to them a little bit about their, maybe their story, you know, where they're from, where they grew up, how they met their spouse, you know, what they're dreaming of doing once they get soon to be retired or retired. Kind of what are their goals, right? Yeah, what are your goals? Um, we're gonna talk to them a little bit about who we are, what we do, show them how we do things, especially dealing in the market realities we find ourselves in today. Got it, so essentially, they're coming in, you're learning a little bit about what's important to them, what their goals are, what they're trying to accomplish. I'm sure you're taking a look at what they're doing so far. You maybe share a little bit about you, and it's, it's just in a very relaxed atmosphere. That's right. Uh, and, and there's no cost to do this, is that correct? No cost, no cost. All right, so folks, there you go. I mean, it sounds very simple, very easy, very laid back. Uh, there's no reason for you not to just pick up the phone, call the number on the screen, come visit us, Get that second opinion. You'd be glad that you did. Are you ready to face today's retirement challenges? Are you prepared for potential market corrections and economic downturns? Are you implementing viable tax strategies to reduce your liability and protect your assets? Are you able to make informed decisions to safeguard your retirement savings and income? Centennial Wealth Advisory presents Mastering Today's Retirement Challenges. We are Northern Michigan's financial advisors specializing in retirement planning with offices in Traverse City, Petoskey, and Gaylord. And we invite you to an informative presentation with a complimentary gourmet dinner. Learn how to use the new tax reform to your advantage. The best way to generate lifetime income. How to identify and manage financial challenges. How to maintain growth opportunities and reduce risk. And much more. Call 888-608-5825 to register Tuesday, October 30th at Booms Long Lake Inn in Traverse City. Presentations start at 6 p.m. and are free to attend with a complimentary gourmet dinner to follow. But seating is limited and fills quickly. Call 888-608-5825 to reserve your seats today. There is no cost and no obligation. Don't miss this important presentation, Mastering Today's Retirement Challenges. Call 888-608-5825 today. Welcome back. As you can see, I have Larry Flynn with me. He's uh, one of the lead advisors at Centennial Wealth Advisory, offices in northern Michigan. Larry, this week we are talking about this concept of IRAs, 401ks, 403bs, these qualified retirement plans. In a sense, they're kind of, they basically have a loan against them uh, with the IRS. That when people put money in, uh, the IRS is loaning them money, and now that it's grown large, they take money out, and now they got to start paying the loan back, That's right? right? That's yeah. kind of the idea. Right. So uh, why don't I let you kind of share with everybody your uh, perspective on all of this, and, sure. and let's see what we can learn. Sure. Well, usually we'll pose it as a question to the client, right? We'll say, you know, you've got your statement there, you, you know, maybe they have a, a 500000 in there, right? And it's in an IRA, and we'll say, is it all yours? And they have to think about that a little bit. Sure. Well, of course, yeah, it's all mine. I'm the one that put that away. My right? name on the statement, that's, and that's my number at the that's, bottom. That's right. That's right. But is it all yours? And then we'll say, so when you take money out of that account, who's standing there to take their share? And they have to think about, well, Uncle Sam, right, is there to take yes. their share. That loan, he's getting pay, repaid back on his loan, right? So it's not all theirs. Yeah, so a chunk of it belongs to Uncle Sam or the IRS and you know as an aside why is it you know in today's world shouldn't it be why does it have to be Uncle Sam can it be Aunt <laughs> Samantha or something anyway yeah. so so what you're saying is that here they are they're looking at their statement they think it's all theirs yeah. but if it were all theirs they could take it all out and use all that money that's right they can't do that no okay no. so here we are we have an IRA let's say, 401k, whatever amount is in there, and now we're sitting here going, well, wait a minute, we got this big loan against it, and that loan is, you know, growing with interest. That's right. If ever, every other loan I have 
if I have a loan, I want to pay it off early. I don't want to pay all that interest. That's right. Is that what you see with the people you talk to? Yeah, most people, when they're as they're trying to approach retirement, the number one thing they want to accomplish is to not have any debt. Or right. have as little as possible. Or have as little as possible. So, you know, they're looking at that. If they can conceive that, that there is a loan in that account or it's not all theirs, how can I take care of that? How yeah. can I get them out of that account? Yeah, why should the IRA be any different from my house or my car? That's right. I want to get that loan paid off. So help us understand. I've heard you say that this new tax law really presents an enormous window of opportunity for people to get this loan paid off at a discount. Right? That's right. So what does that mean? Tell us what's going on there. Well, with the, with the Tax Reform Act, a lot of people don't recognize this, but you know, it, it sunsets in eight years, right? So we, we have an eight-year opportunity where not only did the tax rates decrease, for the most part, 3% across the board, but a lot of, a lot of the lower brackets, they, they expand it. Okay, now wait a minute. When you say, wow, the tax rates decreased by 3%, my initial thought there is, Woohoo, right? <laughs> Big right. deal. Right. So that that can't be the reason you say this is a big window. It's got. A, what's that other part you're talking about? About the what you say? The tax brackets. The tax brackets themselves were expanded. So, so can you give me an example of what that means? Well, uh, where I see a sweet spot, quite honestly, is let's say right around three hundred fifteen thousand. Okay. If I'm somebody that um, had three hundred fifteen thousand of income under the new tax reform act, at verse three hundred fifteen thousand with the old act. The difference in tax rates is not is more than three percent. It could be as high as eight percent. Oh wow, eight or because like what or nine right is one twenty four and one's thirty yeah, three or something yeah, like nine. Exactly. Anyway, so that's a big difference. Bigger difference, yeah. So why this? Come on, Larry. How many retirees have three hundred and fifteen thousand of income? How does that happen? Well, but look at it this way. Let's say they just have a hundred thousand of normal income but they're sitting on that IRA account where they know they have a partner. If I know that I've got you know, $200,000 to work with and I can effectively lower that tax rate or buy out Uncle Sam at an eight or 9% decrease, wouldn't I wanna do that? Oh, okay, so wait, that's right, because if someone, let's say I've got an IRA with that 500,000, what you're saying is I could start to do Roth conversions that adds to my income and as long as I keep it under three hundred fifteen thousand, I'm as as a married couple, I'm probably in really good shape there. That's that right. that ends up being a smart move. That's right. And that's where the IRS is really giving a big discount for buying out the IRS. That's right. Okay, that's so right. buying out your loan, paying it off early through a Roth conversion, right? Yes. That's where we're seeing some planning opportunities. That's right. That's right. Okay, fantastic, Larry. I get it. Thank you. That was absolutely helpful. Good. Folks, there you go. Great opportunity, especially for married folks, to start buying out that loan. And I don't want you going anywhere. We're going to keep talking about this when we come back. Are you ready to face today's retirement challenges? Are you prepared for potential market corrections and economic downturns? Are you implementing viable tax strategies to reduce your liability and protect your assets? Are you able to make informed decisions to safeguard your retirement savings and income? Centennial Wealth Advisory presents Mastering Today's Retirement Challenges. We are Northern Michigan's financial advisors specializing in retirement planning with offices in Traverse City, Petoskey, and Gaylord. And we invite you to an informative presentation with a complimentary gourmet dinner. Learn how to use the new tax reform to your advantage. The best way to generate lifetime income. How to identify and manage financial challenges. How to maintain growth opportunities and reduce risk. And much more. Call 888-608-5825 to register Tuesday, October 30th at Booms Long Lake Inn in Traverse City. Presentations start at 6 p.m. and are free to attend with a complimentary gourmet dinner to follow. But seating is limited and fills quickly. Call 888-608-5825 to reserve your seats today. There is no cost and no obligation. Don't miss this important presentation, Mastering Today's Retirement Challenges. Call 888-608-5825 today.
Thanks for joining us in this segment of Chalk Talks. Listen, as Mike and I were talking earlier, um, one of the things you want to accomplish as you get to retirement is, is to be debt free. Right? I don't want to be sitting in, in retirement with no, uh, with no wages and, and having to worry about any kind of a debt. Yet, when you really think about it, we kind of find ourselves in that situation if we've been predominantly putting into what we call you know, tax qualified accounts. Those IRAs, 403Bs, 401Ks, 457s, right? We've been putting money into those for a lot of years trying to save for retirement. You know, and, and what was happening? We got a great tax deduction up front because we didn't have to pay tax on it. But it, and, and, and as it grew, we didn't have to pay any tax on it, right? But what happens in the end? Now that we have to take money from those accounts, every dollar we take out is going to be taxable, okay? And who's standing there to take their share? Uncle Sam. <laughs> You know, we, we recognize that in that whole period of time, as we were putting tax, tax deductible money in, that was basically going into Uncle Sam's share and, and growing, in, you know, in his benefit, depending on what tax rate we're in. And now we recognize at the end, we have a partner in that account. Now, this is my beautiful rendition of an apartment building. <laughs> We're gonna call this a quadplex, right? And let's just say that I have a partner in that account. That in, let's say years ago, we, we saw this opportunity for this great apartment building. And we said, you know, we, let's both go in on this. This sounds like a great way to grow some, let's say retirement income down the road because when we pay this off eventually one day, guess what? It's just gonna produce an income that we now can, can retire on. So I got this partner in the account and we're happy because this is now, we're paying off debt, it's growing. And then we, get, we finally get to that stage where we, we've paid it off, it's now producing an income for us, and we're both in retirement. Now, I've got two choices here. I can one, I can just keep my partner in that account, which may be beneficial for me depending on my situation, but I may also want to buy that partner out, get him out of the apartment building. Maybe I want all that income for myself going forward. So now what do I have to consider? I have to consider how do I buy this partner out? And if I want to buy my partner out, what, what is the cheapest way possible to do it, okay? That is what true tax planning can accomplish. Now, liken this apartment building to my IRA account, right? Uncle Sam, I got Uncle Sam in it. I, I know he's a partner in this account. Same scenario. At what, what, how can I best buy Uncle Sam out at the cheapest way possible? So I'm gonna to wanna to run a lot of different scenarios, right? From a tax standpoint, I'm gonna look at this from, well, what, what if I just did it all at once? Let's just say I took his whole equity in that apartment building and I just bought him out. What's that equate to? How much as a percentage of that overall asset is, is my partner gonna get? Right, so let's say I, I, I decide to do that and I run that analysis and I decide that if I can buy them all out at once, I can buy him out at 25 cents on the dollar based on that asset value. Well, I might look at that and say, that sounds like a pretty good deal. What if I buy them out over a maybe a 10 year period? And I ran the analysis on that and I found out if I could do it over a 10 year period, it's only gonna cost me 20 cents on the dollar or 20 percent well even better yet which one would make the most sense in that scenario either buying them all out at once or doing it out over maybe a eight ten year period well if i can buy them out at less at 20 percent i might argue that might make better sense to do it over time Folks, this is really what's involved when we're looking at doing Roth conversions. When we look at an IRA, and we're potentially looking at getting Uncle Sam out of that IRA. What we do is we want to run a number of different tax scenarios, mock tax returns per se, to see what's Uncle Sam going to get out of this if we buy out of the IRA all at once, equate that as a percentage. Then we're going to look at what does that look like if we do it over time, 
okay? What's that as a percentage? And then finally, what's that look like down the road when I'm required to take income out of that account? Or maybe what does that look like to my surviving spouse when I'm gone? What are they gonna pay in that IRA? Equate that as a percentage. I'm gonna look at all those scenarios, right? And I'm gonna see which one makes the best sense for me to get that partner, that person out of my account or getting Uncle Sam out of that account. Folks, this always requires tax planning. It's something that doesn't get done enough. And again, we're in a period where with the Tax Reform Act, we got eight years where the rates are lower and the brackets have been extended, where this kind of thing is almost a must to have to analyze. So I encourage you, if you haven't done this, come in, talk with us, let us see if you're a candidate to maybe do this um, over the, the next period of time while we have an opportunity. Thanks. Hi, it's Michael Reese here. I have in my hands a copy of our number one best-selling book on Amazon in its category, Retiring Well, How to Enjoy uh, Retirement in Any Economy. In this book, we cover the four big areas of retirement planning, income planning, investment planning, tax planning and estate planning or legacy planning. It has everything you need to know about your retirement plan and I want to get you a free copy. So how do you get a free copy? It's really easy. Just call the number on the screen. Come visit with us. Come on in for a free, no obligation financial planning review. And when you come in to get your planning reviewed, We'll give you a copy, your very own copy, this best-selling book, absolutely for free. Again, just call the number on the screen. I want you to get your free copy. I know that you're going to love it. Your grandchildren are precious to you. They are your life. This is your time to have that special relationship. Taking care of yourself is taking care of them. Centennial Wealth Advisory is offering a free, no-obligation retirement review to make sure you don't run out of money during your retirement. Centennial Wealth Advisory. Your best is yet to come. Welcome back to Retiring Well. I'm Art Canfield, one of the financial advisors here at Centennial Wealth. I'm joined by John Torbett, also a financial advisor here with Centennial Wealth. And today, we're going to continue the conversation that Larry and Mike have been talking about. Are you really debt free? You know, in your working years, you may have had debt with mortgages and car payments and whatever, you know, all along, you know, student loans is a big thing out there now. And, you know, for the most part, you know, we've had a lot of conversations this show about you know, the, the taxes being really a debt in a way, right? And I guess I pose a question about, uh, for a married couple, would you purposely leave your spouse in potentially hundreds of thousand dollars in debt? I know, I know Jessica, my wife, wouldn't, wouldn't appreciate that, and, but that's unfortunately what's happening in, in the world today. I mean, that you're seeing a lot of these assets, which are in 401k, 403b, 457 IRA that haven't been taxed yet, and that's a main vehicle for people to tuck money aside while they're working to build up their retirement assets. But unfortunately, it feels like they're not really thinking through what does that look like down the road? Not just maybe during their lifetime, but then when they pass, um, that, that tax is, is still owed, right? Uncle Sam still wants his piece of the pie, so. Right, there's kind of a, I don't know if there's, a, if you wanna call it a misconception, but there's general belief out there, you know, we're saving this money, tucking it away, like you said, but all of a sudden there's this growing tax bomb in a way in these 401ks, uh, IRAs, deferred vehicles that people really don't want to acknowledge or I don't know if they think it's just going to go away magically somehow. But let's talk a little bit about um, 
what maybe would be the options or a couple things to think about for that couple right now, both still living, got these pre-tax IRAs, 401ks, what can they do? Yeah, I mean, the, the first one that comes to my mind, Art, is the, this idea of Roth conversions. It's probably talked about a lot, but I don't know how familiar people are with the transition of money from a traditional IRA to a Roth IRA and what that incorporates. And ultimately, you're moving money from a taxable taxable investment to a tax-free investment. Um, with that, um, obviously there's going to be taxes owed, but the big thing that I'm looking at today is between 2018 and 2025, we have these new tax rates. Um, it was a lot in the media, a lot of news about it, but I don't know if, if advisors are continuing to talk about that like we do on a year-by-year -year basis looking at how much money could you potentially move from taxable to tax-free. Yeah, you may pay taxes on it, but a lot of those tax rates where maybe, let's say you're at a 15% rate in 2017, you're now down to a 12% rate in 2018. And that 3% is a huge savings, right? Right, and I think an important thing to know too is it's not gonna be a one-year solution, right? right? And many times we see this where you know we're chipping away at it year by year where it's a multi-year plan to slowly exit that out in the most favorable status. I think sometimes there's, you know, maybe somebody got their tax person or whatever looked at it and said, nah, you know, it doesn't make sense this year and they just forget about it, right? Right, right. but that's where it's it's important to look at this year after year after year and, and have a plan in place. Um, the other thing that comes to mind, Art, is and a lot of people will shy away from this, but we talk about life insurance. I mean, everyone, unfortunately, I don't know the mindset, but they think, well, I got to retirement. I don't need life insurance anymore, which I do get. Maybe you, you don't have the kids at home anymore. You don't have that big mortgage that's left on the house, whatever it may be. But what about from a tax planning perspective to have this life insurance policy that would then leave a tax-free benefit to a surviving spouse and the benefits that that could bring, I mean, are significant. Right. You know, I think to the, you know, the general uses of life insurance, you know, you're exactly right. I think you have to kind of mentally shift away. Well, I'm not really getting this life insurance for the reasons I may have had it while I was working. It's really a planning purpose, right? Oh, most definitely. I mean, there's tax advantages. There's a lot of the policies today that we look at where maybe you can use that to help pay for long-term care. So there's, there's a lot of different advantages. Obviously there's costs involved, but we've seen with the lower mortality tables, um, they're, they're getting better and better. So. Yeah, exactly. Folks, if you're sitting at home and you don't have a tax plan in place and you're not thinking ahead, please give us a call. Uh, we'll walk through the different options. It's really important to have your investments and your taxes on the same page because you could potentially be saving thousands of dollars you're unaware of. If this is something you're interested in, please give us a call and we'll happily walk through those options with you in a face-to-face -face meeting at your convenience. Thanks so much for joining this week and have a great week.